Hey guys, Caleb here with Steve Meyer Service today to go over a couple different blade options that you could put on your mower. So first off, we're going to take a look at this blade here, which is a low lift or a recycling blade. And the reason that is, is this area right here, what we call the sail, is a smaller portion that's raised up and it also is not raised as steep. And so times when this blade is good uh, is on a recycling kit, uh, which basically mulches up the grass and puts it back down into the ground. Uh, the reason that's good is because it creates less airflow, so it doesn't pack the grass uh, like a high lift blade would and, and, and really jam it up in there and cause a poor cut quality. Or the other times where they might be useful is if you're down south, you got some real sandy grass, uh, you want this low lift blade because it's not stirring up all the sand, because uh, that sand will eat away your blades really quickly, uh, and that'll be a pretty large expense. <clears throat> the middle blade here, uh, and I would say the more common, is going to be the high lift blade. And you can take a look at that, and that's because you see this sail right here is much steeper, uh, and it's a bigger portion that's raised. Now this is usually what's going to come standard on all your mowers. Uh, up here in Ohio, we run and we like to run the high lift blades, especially in the springtime, to really get as much airflow as possible. We got thick, wet grass, so we want to throw it uh, we want to stand it up and throw it out the discharge as far as we can to prevent any clumping. And then the third style here uh, is what we have on the right, which is what we call the atomic blade, uh, or you might hear it referred to as a gator blade. Uh, now this blade is great for the fall season. So when you got a bunch of leaves and you really want to mulch them up real fine, uh, this is a great blade for that. It's going to do a real nice job. Uh, now sometimes where you don't want to use this blade, if you're like here in Ohio, uh, if you got a lot of thick, wet grass and you need to throw it as far as possible, uh, this isn't going to do that because these cuts here in the sail, these cuts are going to allow air to go through, and so that's going to limit your airflow that the that the blade creates. Uh, the other time that it might not be as good is these teeth here, uh, like when it's you know dry and in the summertime, these teeth are going to cut the grass so fine that it's actually going to make it really hard for the deck to throw it. Um, so these are a great blade, but in the right use. Uh, now a, a tip about blades, as you see here, the distance between this cutting edge and this cutting edge is a little bit different, um, meaning that the cutting edge right there is not as long. Now the important part with blades is the first inch of the blade is actually do what does 90% of the cutting. So you may see some blades where the cutting edge is all the way down to the center. Uh, that's great, that's fine, that's no big deal, but really where, where the you know, majority of the work is being done is in that first inch of the blade. Now these three blades are all options uh, on Toro's commercial grade mowers, and the low lift and the high lift blade would be options for your Time Cutter and Titan series. They do not offer an OEM atomic blade for the Time Cutter and Titan series. So this is a quick rundown on how blades work and what blades are best for you. Thank you very much and have a nice day.